The new Red Dead Online Halloween Pass 2 released today as the second part of our Halloween update for 2021 in-game. Tuesday, we had the new Call to Arms maps and content, plus the showdown mode, plus other in-game changes like discounts and bonuses themed for Halloween. And today, we got 15 new ranks to our second Halloween pass ever for Red Dead Online. It features new masks, weapon variants, a new spooky-themed skull lantern, clothing items like shirts, gauntlets, jackets, gloves, and more clothing items and accessories. And today we're going to showcase the ranks at which you unlock these Halloween rewards and also showcase the clothing and unlocks themselves so you can see what they look like. So if you enjoy this video at any point or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on today's video. And if you'd like to stay up to date and in the loop with everything Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online, consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. All right, so as always, when buying new Outlaw Passes, Halloween Passes, Quick Draw Clubs, you head on over to the Benefits section in the Pause menu, or you just head on over into your catalog and you can find Halloween Pass 2, where you can unlock 15 tiers of grim and gruesome rewards. So let's check this out. Not only that, but if you do unlock Halloween Pass 2, you get a free stable slot and a select shirt, um, basically just for buying this pass. Now, of course, if you bought the four previous Quick Draw Club memberships, you would get Halloween Pass 2 for free, but as you can see, we will check it out here. So, Club Pass Halloween Info, here we go. This is awesome. It expires November 22nd, but of course, all your rewards will continue after this pass actually goes away. For players who should be unlocking Halloween Pass 2 for free, you can claim one of the vouchers in your benefits and coupons menu, or you can just go to the catalog and purchase it here, but as you can see, it has a zero gold bar purchase price. So we're gonna purchase it right now. Claim Halloween Pass reward. Boom, I love that sound. And here we go, as a Halloween Pass 2 holder, you unlock additional rewards as you play. So let's jump into all the tiered rewards here in the game. As you can see, it costs 20 gold bars if you do not already, or if you have not already gotten it for free, which I would say for the rewards this year is pretty fair in my opinion. Starting off at rank number one, you get a 50% off coupon for select roll items, plus the wooden swine mask, which is a hand carved wooden mask. We had this already in game in just a different version, but this is something specifically for Halloween Pass 2, so it's a new variant of an already existing mask. Then we got the Coquatrix hat, a striking hand painted hat with a pinched crown at rank two. At rank three, we get the Dead Eye Core Filter, plus the Leather Slaughter Mask. Again, the leather, or should I say the Slaughter Mask, is also already in the game, but this is a new variant and a new version for it, specifically in Halloween Pass 2. At rank four, we get the Gibbet Shirt, which is actually pretty nice. This looks more like NPC clothing here, which is a well-worn shirt splattered and soaked with blood. This is definitely something I could picture NPCs wearing in like Thieves Landing or something. It just seems familiar, and it looks good. The red shirt with the like dried blood and dirt on it just looks awesome. At rank five, you get a $100 Red Dead Online cash reward, plus the provisions parcel for Miracle Tonics, time, big game as well. And then you also get the wooden horror mask, a wooden mask with inset teeth, shakily scratched and scrawled. Again, this is similar to the iron tooth mask, but now it's in wood and we have one for the Halloween pass. Next, in rank six, you get the killer bee or killer by gauntlets, roughly made leather gauntlets containing fragments of human bone this, if someone can make an outfit out of these, they will look absolutely amazing. Now, rank 7, you get the Hellier Jacket, a durable jacket with a heavily decorated back. This also looks great here just because of the fact that I wanted a jacket with like some sort of popped up collar, and I think we actually get this here in game. Looks pretty cool in my opinion. I would love to know what you guys think down in the comments section below. You can see the pentagram basically stitched and engraved into the back. And then in rank eight, we get an ammo parcel for throwing knives, fire bottles, tomahawks, and dynamite. And the bound shears, also rank eight, which is a pair of shears fastened with leather and fashioned into a knife. And rank nine, you get the hag freak mask, a canvas bandana painted ripped and torn into a mask as you can see in, here in game this looks pretty cool as well just because of the fact that we don't really have a sort of mask that covers like the bottom half of your face and it leaves the top half open it's just an interesting style usually it covers your entire face including your forehead but it's also pretty silly looking you know you definitely look like some type of hag freak here in game moving on to rank 10 you get an ammo parcel of split point rifle pistol repeater and revolver ammo plus incendiary buckshot shotgun ammo and a bundle of fire arrows 
kind of crazy how we're getting split point ammo parcels in this Halloween pass when split point ammo is still broken here in game. I mean, it's been broken since the launch of this game. Rockstar has never bothered or cared to fix it. Next, we at rank 10, we have an ability card upgrade to one, unlock one ability card upgrade of your choice. At rank 11, you get the Skeleton Masquerade Mask, which is a porcelain mask, hurriedly painted by hand, plus the Goggle Mask, probably my favorite mask in this pass, which is a mask fashioned from a knotted bandana and a pair of thick goggles. We, of course, got a similar one in Quick Draw Club number four or three as one of our rewards, but this one for Halloween definitely looks cooler in my opinion the gold goggles the deep black lenses and of course the like this the knotted and the stitched bandana right there looks pretty cool in my opinion now moving on we have the butcher coat voucher coat i don't know how to pronounce it i feel like rockstar just makes up words for some of the clothing items in this game but either way we have a heavy ragged coat bloodied and torn so this will look perfect with what is it this shirt the gibbet shirt i think if you wear this jacket you're gonna be looking pretty cool here in game now moving on we have at rank 13 the golden creature mask a solid gold animal mask it would actually be kind of funny if you could sell this for gold bars or like smelt it into, into a gold ingot here in game or just get cash for it but either way i would love to know down in the comments if you guys are going to be wearing this one i would probably be more inclined to wear either the goggle mask or this just because having a gold mask on your character would look pretty cool in my opinion at rank 14 some of my favorite gloves here in game which would look perfect with the gauntlets we have the cartilage gloves a set of elaborate gloves resembling skeletal hands now these are pretty sweet in my opinion i want these to go really well with the gauntlets and unfortunately apparently you can't actually wear those with some of the shirts that we're getting in these outlaw uh, passes and these halloween passes and quick draw clubs and stuff which is unfortunate even if the sleeves are rolled up but either way these cartilage gloves are definitely going to be made into some outfit i'll try and figure it out here in game and make some outfit out of it now at rank 15 we have select coats for 50 percent off and the glabella lantern an intact human skull crafted into a functioning lantern this is probably one of my most favorite rewards from this pass. Besides the goggle mask and the gloves and the gauntlets, this thing, I'm going to be using this instead of the normal lantern now just because, I mean, look at it. It's a candle and a skull with like barbed wire as the handle and the holder and like the string it's attached to or the chain basically. Like how could you not want to use that here in game? You, you can apply that to any time of the year. Of course, it's very Halloween themed, but it also just looks super badass. Now next, at rank 15 as well, the pump action shotgun variant. It's a visual variant for the pump action shotgun and it can be applied at the gunsmith to any owned pump action shotgun that any player has. So now we have the trader variant of the pump action shotgun as well as the Halloween one Which basically just has like a spider on the stock and the grain of the shotgun And then as you can see on the frame you can see a spider and all along the barrel and the um, The slide so you can actually charge the gun you can see like the spider webs and the cobwebs and stuff So this pass honestly pretty cool in my opinion definitely recommend you guys check it out I'm probably gonna rank it up a little bit on stream today. So definitely come stop by and say hello. And I think with that said, we're gonna wrap things up right Hopefully here. you all enjoyed the video today. And if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you wanna stay up to date with all the best Red Dead Online and Rockstar Games content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks. And we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily. So make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you wanna follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of youtube and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on there you can follow me at hazardous hdtv and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below that being said thank you all so much for watching everyone hope you all have a fantastic day and i will see you guys in the next red dead online video adios amigos